Hello and welcome, it's Francis here behind the camera and with today being the first of a new month, 1st of July 2020, I thought I might just do a quick three card reading to see what the energies for this month uh, may bring. Last month has been quite eventful, should we say, with a lot of the cosmic activity happening and let's see what this new month will bring us in that regard the deck that i'm using is the psychic tarot oracle deck by john holland one that i have used in previous videos so let's see what cards that we bring first card is patience and planning Second, emotional withdrawal. Third card, harmony. And while I was shuffling, there was another card that sort of dislodged itself, and that is solitude. Looking at the first card, patience and planning, first of all. What ultimately jumps out at me, along with the twin pillars that in the Kabbalistic teachings can represent severity and mercy, is that around the pillars are three weather or seasonal patterns. We have the snow, what looks like snow. We have what looks like fallen wheat leaves of winter or autumn and rain. Either winter or spring with a green, I'm tending to think spring. Then we have this glowing sun coloured circle right in the middle. So looking at the words patience and planning, it's like still time to sort of take stock of where we're going and what we've been going through also where we wish to head cosmically or weather wise here it's winter in the southern hemisphere it's not exactly whether to draw us outside so this is almost saying to me go within the south take the most of this opportunity should you find yourself in a place of rest just go inward to see where you're up to where you'd like to head especially considering this year has been a very challenging year for a lot of us and almost forced us to sort of reassess our goals our relationships even our expectations and directions in life so with this card it's sort of following on that scheme that plan but Encouraging us more to really just be patient, take time, a well thought out plan will carry us onward. Added to that, while well, this is the first card, sort of a, I suppose you could say an external focus because it's looking at or focusing more on probably our relationship with the world that we reside in. The second card, emotional withdrawal, is reminding us too that we are spirit or spiritual beings. We have a spiritual side that needs to be nurtured as well. We need to look after our spiritual and our emotional selves. While we're being patient and planning, don't forget that we also need to take heed of our emotional well-being as well. In these testing times maybe this is time to consider how much energy you are expanding externally and how much energy you are still keeping for yourself maybe you find yourself at a crossroads where you're wanting to make the most of life after all we've sort of already gone through half of this year and it feels like we've achieved nothing but what are we feeling on the inside how are we actually coping 
do we still have that sense of peace? Do we need to find it again? And I think most importantly with the emotional withdrawal, it's reminding us that that is okay to give us the permission to go within because that will carry us forward. And when we take this time of patience and planning of where we're heading and the emotional withdrawal, that will give us harmony. Now, while this card may depict possibly a, a couple, don't forget there's harmony within ourselves as well as our anima and animus, our masculine and feminine selves, as the Jungian teachings teach us, come into alignment. Also, harmony between our physical, external self, our sort of extroverted self, and our inner introverted world as well when we remember to keep that emotional withdrawal happening and looking after ourselves also when we sort of focus more on what is important to us looking inward and it could be maybe we've spent up to now a lot of time working externally away from the home front on our career away from our families this emotional withdrawal and patience is reminding us to rekindle those relationships which are dear to us, that bring us that degree of harmony and peace that we are striving to reconnect with. And with the fourth card being solitude, I'm almost feeling that this is a Sort of reading that this next month, this current month of July, is one where we really do need to seek the wisdom from within. And this is what solitude is all about. And while I don't know if this deck, this card in this deck, would relate to the High Priestess, number nine, the solitude, that's the feeling that I'm getting with this card. She's holding the sacred book. She's in deep contemplation. She holds the mysteries. We need to go within and trust our inner self, our intuitive being. And if we feel we are unable to do that, well then remember our practice of meditation, relaxation, opening up, lighting a candle, and asking for assistance to whatever divine being or entity or even our higher consciousness that we align with and it is this through the solitude that we will find the answers and the inspiration as we continue this journey that we're still heading in which is still very introverted so i hope that offers a little bit of guidance and assistance for this coming month and take care blessings